Yes, it's Jumble. And here's your host, Jeff Stevenson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you and good morning at home. Welcome to Jumble. The game you can play at home, but before we start, I have a very urgent message here for anyone who is thinking of attending the annual conference of burglars being held at the Ritz Hotel, Birmingham. The annual general meeting started apparently at 9 o'clock. Bill Sykes took the chair, Charlie Smithers took the minutes, the delegates from Dudley took the floor, so you are advised to get there as quickly as possible while there's still anything worth nicking. <laughs> OK, well, our contestants on Jumble are stealing themselves for this morning's battle of the words. We've loads of cryptic clues, absolute oodles of anagrams, and if our contestants can solve them, they can win up to £500. <laughs> There are two teams playing Jumble, and each is made up of one member of the public and one well-known celebrity. And what a way to start your morning, by feasting your eyes on delicious Linda Lusardi! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning! Good morning, Jeff. How are you doing, Linda? Thanks for coming up. Thank you. You came into the public eye via page three. Did you ever see yourself sort of moving into this area of show business? Not really. It all kind of happened by accident. I mean, the modelling was accidental, and really? so the stage work's come along just as accidentally as the modelling. Great. So if you didn't sort of go into modelling, uh, no. how old were you when you started modelling? Um, 17. 17? <laughs> you had to keep yourself fit, keep yourself in shape. How did you go about doing that? Um, I kind of got into different things, really. One minute I'd be into aerobics, then weight training, and then sure. jogging, and um, everything, really. Just a bit of everything when I got time. And do you still keep fit watching your diet? Yeah, I watch my diet. I'm on a seafood diet. I see Are you really? It, and then I eat it. Oh, right. <laughs> and uh, when did you retire from page three or from modelling? About say. five years ago now. I've been earning my living sort of working on stage and telly and doing different things. Great. Well, we wish you all the very best of luck on Jumble. Thanks for Thanks, coming Jeff. on. Introduce us to your partner. Well, this is Mick and he's from Cambridge and <laughs> he's going to win tonight. Yes, Are you really? So. <laughs> yes, I Mick, so. I heard somebody refer to you as Chippy. Yes. What's that all about? Well, I used to have chips for breakfast, dinner and tea. You're joking. Yeah, it's on me cornflakes. It's not very healthy. <laughs> Chips on your cornflakes? That's the yes. kind of diet I like. Yes. <laughs> Snap, crackle and chip. Yes. <laughs> how, you doing with, how, you, how are you with anagrams? Oh, so and so. Mike, we thank you and we wish you all the very best of luck on Jumble. Now, our second celebrity doesn't look quite as good as Linda, but he probably <laughs> smells just as gorgeous. And as long as he's remembered to splash it all over. Yes, of course, it's our Henry, our mate, Henry Cooper. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, mate. <laughs> Welcome. Nice to see you. I was asking uh, Linda just now how old she was when she started modelling. How old were you when you started fighting, Henry? Well, as an amateur, about nine and a half, or a bit younger, if you count me and my brother having a go at each George. other. Yeah. yeah. Listen, the fight with Classius Clay, we will remember it, I'm sure everybody's yeah. asked you. If you, th if you had a one which you came so close to winning, yeah. do you think it would have changed the way you... Well, that's always hard to say. I don't think it could have been any better, because, no. to be honest, uh, you know, thank God, uh, you know, the public uh, took to me and, and they yeah. fake me wherever I go. Thank God, you know, you wherever you go, the people want to speak to you, want your autograph which is marvellous, so it couldn't have been any better, but no, perhaps if I'd have beat Ali on that occasion, I'd have gone forward to fight for the world title. So, sure. about that big ugly bear, Sonny Liston, I think, in them days. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Henry, thanks for coming on Jumble. <laughs> Introduce us to your partner. Well, this is Annie, and she's from S. Brain to Ethics. Right, right. Nice to see you. a good Essex girl. <laughs> Welcome, Annie. Nice <laughs> to see you. Thanks, Henry. No <laughs> Essex girl <Yeah>. jokes. <laughs> We have had a memo, no Essex girl jokes. I'll get you for that later. So, uh, well, what a nice place to come from, Essex. Yes, yes lovely. And um, what do you do for a living? Um, a civil service. Civil service. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. So I'll do some Essex girl jokes, I think. No. <laughs> uh, and you're very interested in horse racing. Yeah, I love horse racing. We're trying to get around all the courses in Britain. Listen, I, uh, you were thrown out of the choir. Yes, that's we right. Have heard. Well, Why was that? <laughs> well, I can't sing very well anyway, but when I had all my regalia and I was walking down the aisle waving at all the congregation. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of show business in church. Uh, <laughs> well, you mustn't wave at our studio audience this morning, and we hope that you're really going to be on song. We welcome you to Jumble. We've met our two teams. It's time to look at our first cryptic clue cartoon. Let's play Jumble. <laughs> this Jumble cartoon is worth £25. Let's take a look at it. There's the cartoon, and here is the clue that we need you to solve. Listen out, teams. The ebony clothes dryer is unexpected. The ebony clothes dryer is unexpected. Now, we tossed a coin before the start of the show, and Linda and Mick, you're going to bat first. Who's yelling? Who's spelling? I'm spelling. I'm yelling. Up you pop. 
Now, we come to the first of our four jumbled words. Each word relates to our cartoon. Mick, you have 15 seconds to unscramble it. If you do so, we're going to give you £10 and a crack at solving our cryptic clue cartoon. Linda, you can only spell, you cannot yell. No vocal help from you whatsoever. And Mick, you can only yell, you cannot spell. Loads of yelling. You have 15 seconds on the clock. We wish you all the very best of luck. On your marks, get set, go. Gore. No. Wager. Yeah, well done. Spell it out, Linda. We take the E and the R because they have fallen onto red squares. And we place the R on the left. There are key letters. We place the E on the right. Mick, we ask you if you have any clothes dryer is unexpected. Any chance of an answer? I seven these, no. No, it's not. Okay. No. Wouldn't do you any good to get an anagram this soon in the game anyway. Over we go. Second jumble. Fifteen seconds on the clock. Go. Sword. Shash. Sh sh force. Keep keep going. Shadow. Yeah, well done. <laughs> there we are. We take the D and my favourite letter of the alphabet, the H. And we place the D on the left and the H on the right. Mick, the ebony clothes dryer is unexpected. What do you think? No, are you bluffing? Dark. Yes. You are. Remember, yeah? <laughs> Remember, viewers at home, the more anagrams that Mick gets, the more the cash builds up and the better his chances of going through to our final for the £200 cryptic clue cartoon. Third jumble coming up. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. S Sauce. No. Course. Sorry? Course. Course it is, of course. <laughs> well done. We take the O and the S. We'll be back in a minute, Linda. We place the O and the S on the right. Mick, the ebony clothes dryer is unexpected. Any ideas? Dark horse. Dark horse it is. You've won £25. Yeah. Thank you go to your places. <laughs> yes. The ebony clothes dryer is unexpected. Dark horse. So, at this point in the game, we have Linda and Mick with a very respectable score. They're up and flying with £55. <laughs> Our second cartoon is worth £25. It's over there. Let's take a look at it. There's the cartoon. And here is the clue. Listen out, Henry. Listen out, Anne. Searching the brain after a night on the tiles may mean a holiday is due. Searching the brain after a night on the tiles may mean a holiday is due. Anne, Henry, who's yelling? Who's spelling? I'm spelling. I'm yelling. And you'll yell. OK, up your pop. Right, second out, start of round one. In you go, Henry. Start spelling now. Motor. Yeah, well done. You got it. Spell it out, Henry. Motor. That's it, motor. There we go. Right. So, you say it's Monday, Henry. It's Monday. OK. <laughs> we come over here. We place the O on the left. And searching the brain after a night on the tiles may mean a holiday is due. Any idea? No. Are you not. bluffing? No, I'm not. Don't You're know not. It. Okay, <laughs> over we go. Second jumble. Fifteen seconds. Go. Ooh. Freight. Say it. Freight. Freight. Hey, uh, say it. Freight. 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 Did freight. you say freight? Freight. Yeah. Yes, freight. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Right, we take the F and the R. There are three letters. Don't worry about that. We place the F and the R on the left. And searching the brain after a night on the tiles may mean a holiday is due. What do you think? I think I'd like to carry on. Please. You think you'd like to carry on? Over we go. Third jumble. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Think. Yeah, well oh, done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we take the K. We put the K on the right. And searching the brain after a night on the tiles may mean a holiday is due. What do you think? Yeah. No, you're going to hold out. Yeah, I'd better hold out, I okay. think, if I don't know it. All right, cool. no problems. Uh, fourth jumble, 15 seconds on the clock. Go. And Greco, cargo. Yeah, well done. <laughs> cargo, we take the C, the A, the R, and the O. Over oh, oh, we go, we've got some spelling to do. Yeah. We place the O in there, we place the R, the A, and the C. OK. Searching the brain after a night on the tiles may mean a holiday is due. You've got 15 seconds to do some rearranging. In you go, Henry. Oh, I have to go. Ooh. Roof rack. Roof rack. Oh. Don't worry about it, Henry. You've got it. So now, thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, yeah. Searching.
should the brain after a night on the tiles may mean a holiday due roof rack. If you search the brains, you rack the brains. So doing it on the tiles would be a roof rack, which you use when you go on holiday. Of course, roof rack. So the scores at this point, Linda, Lusardi and Mick with £55, but out there in front by a tenner, Anne and Henry Cooper with £65. Oh, you. Nice game. Nice. We move on to round two. This time our cartoon is worth £50. Let's take a look at the cartoon. And listen out for the clue. We want you to solve it. He was totally consumed by a part of speech, to be exact. He was totally consumed by a part of speech, to be exact. Linda, Mick, who's yelling, who's spelling? Well, Mick, Mick wants to yell, so I'll spell again. OK, OK, up you pop. You have 15 seconds on the clock. Your first jump ball's coming up. Go. Um, bit, bitten. bitten. Bitten, well done. <laughs> we take the B and the I, key letters. We transfer them to the cartoon board. In they go. Mick, he was totally consumed by a part of speech, to be exact. Any ideas? No. No, no are idea. you holding out? No. OK, over okay. we go. You're going to earn another ten if you get this one. Second jumble, 15 seconds, go. Edict. No. No. Read. Read dick. Credit. Not credit, no. It's a word, but it's not it. Creed. Direct. Direct it is. <laughs> we take the E and the T. We place the E and the T over here. Remember E.T., phone home? He was totally consumed by a part of speech, to be exact. Mick? Bitter. But... No? No. OK, Pass keep off. building the cash up. Third jumble, 15 seconds, go. Anagram. No. no. Grammar. Yes, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. That's it. Uh... You can't spell it. Is that right? Have I spelled it right? Yeah. I'm looking to our scorer. Yes, yes, that's good. All right, you've sussed me. Right, <laughs> we take the R, the A, and the M. Right. Mick, he was totally consumed by a part of speech, to be exact. Matt Bartram. No. Bartram? Bartram. No, it's not Bartram. No. Over we go. Fourth jumble after this one. Linda's going to help you spelling over there, which will be about as much help as me spelling. Right, go. Sit. Civvy. Civ no. O voice. Sorry. O voice. No. C. C. So. O. No, you've lost control. Back you go. Henry and Anne, you've gained control. Up you pop. <laughs> In you go, Henry. You have 15 seconds starting now. Boy. Yeah, well done. Spell it out, Henry. B -B That's it. Excellent. We take the V. Come over here, Henry, because we have some spelling to do. We place the V in there. The clue is he was totally consumed by a part of speech, to be exact. 15 seconds to do some rearranging. Go. Totally consumed. Ranted, 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 aranted, barmitif, totally consumed. Come on, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, seconds out. Back you go. Mick and Linda, you've gained control. Linda at the board, Mick on the stall. <laughs> he was totally consumed by a part of speech, to be exact. 15 seconds, do some rearranging, Linda. Bread, brim, brim, bremeth, brim. No. Bro, brief, tram, tram, tim, fib, pod, brain, fib, brim. Oh, I'm sorry, you are so close, it's untrue. Back you go to your places. Studio audience, any ideas? Yes. Thank you very much, verbatim. He was totally consumed by a part of speech, to be exact. A verb is a part of speech. The verb consumed him, so the verbatim, verbatim, reported exactly. So, at this point in the game, we have Henry and Anne with £75, the £10 out in front, Linda and Mick with £85. <laughs> It's all on Cartoon 4. Let's take a look at Cartoon 4. It's worth £50. It's over here. Let's take a look at it. There's the cartoon, and here is the clue we want you to solve. Listen out, teams. Used to hold down the mayor's red carpet, but it still goes up. Used to hold down the mayor's red carpet, but it still goes up. Henry, Anne, who's yelling, who's spelling? 
Well, I'm spelling because we could keep it. I'm telling you. Okay, you're keeping that winning formula. <laughs> okay, first jumble coming up. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Oh. Um, Gandalf. Oh. Round. Um, round. Ground. Ground it is. Well done. <laughs> yes. We'll we take the U and the N. We'll give it in a minute. And we place the UN on the left. Now, Anne. Used to hold down the mayor's red carpet, but it still goes up. What do you think? I don't know. No, are you bluffing? No, I don't You're know. You're not? Okay, <laughs> over we go. Second jumble, 15 seconds, go. Um, coal, no, laco, alaco, um, cloak, no. No. Clo, calol, coal. No. Local. Local it is, well done. You only just got it. Well we take the L, the L and the C, and we place them right there. Used to hold down the mayor's red carpet, but it still goes up. What do you think? Are oh, you bluffing? No. Okay. Thumbs up. Over we go. Third jumble. Fifteen seconds. Go. Um. Wealth. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Okay, we take the A and the T, and we place them in the word on the right. Now, Anne, used to hold down the mayor's red carpet, but it still goes up. Any ideas? Something math, I don't know, colossal. Okay, your time's up, over you go, fourth jumble, 15 seconds on the clock, go. Oh gosh, excise. Excise it is, well done. <laughs> Yes. No. Hey, I'm right. That's great. Great. Yeah, right. You're nearly as good a speller as me, Henry. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Come over here. We're going to do some spelling. Sure, we put the C and the I <laughs> on the ahead, left, and there. the X goes in there. You have 15 seconds. They used to hold down the mayor's red carpet, but it still goes up. In you go. Do some rearranging. Something uh, tax. Colonial tax. Two tax. No. Uh, uh, You've got the tax. Uh, Colonial tax. What's that? Poll tax. No. No, you uh, can't <laughs> say it, Henry. Henry, you can only rearrange it. <laughs> Um, okay. No, I'm sorry, you've lost control. Back you go, Linda and Mick. Linda at the board, Mick on the sword. You've got 15 seconds. Used to hold down the mayor's red carpet, but it still goes up. What do you think? Council tax. That's it, Linda. Pull away. Back you go. Council tax. Well done, Mick. Used to hold down the mayor's red carpet, but it still goes up. Council tax. So, at the end of round two, we have Henry and Anne with £115, but going through to our final for the £200 cartoon caption in part two, Linda and Mick with £135. <laughs> yeah! And, and I'm very sorry, we're going to lose you. Thanks for being a great sport. And uh, we would like to thank your partner, ladies and gentlemen, Henry Cooper. Oh, Thanks, God, Henry. Quite lovely. I'm too much of a We will see you in part two when Mick could become £200 richer with the help of lovely Linda Lasardi. We'll see you in just a moment. Don't go away now. Welcome back to Jumble. Our team of Linda Lasardi and Mick have successfully reached our final round and now Mick has a chance to become £200 richer if he can solve the cryptic clue that goes with this cartoon. Here's the cartoon. And here is the clue. Listen out. Non-smokers go along with a crossword clue following an ill-tempered scene on the bench. Non-smokers go along with a crossword clue following an ill-tempered scene on the bench. Solve that clue, Mick and you could become £200 richer. Here's how you do it. I'm going to show you six jumbled words. They are number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Each jumble unscrambles into a word. Each word relates to our cartoon. Each one that you get correct, Mick, will give you key letters to help you solve our cartoon caption. You have 60 seconds. Linda, Mick, are you ready? No. no. <laughs> Please, are you ready? Yes. Okay, take your places. Linda, your spelling. 
and Mick, you're yelling. You have 60 seconds to unscramble these anagrams, starting now. Sheep. Sheep. Pass on that one. Go, go, go on to the next one. Yep. Flow. 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 Flower. Now I pass. Oh, we'll go back to that one. Dead. Deaders. Dead. Deaders. Dead. De rest. No. Okay, move pass. on to this one. We'll go back to that one. Name. Name. Rain. No. No. Pass. Have a go at this one. <sighs> Cart. <laughs> no. Go on the next one. OK, I'm sorry. No. Oh. <laughs> Mick no. didn't do too well. Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, we have speech. This would have been oh. speech. speech. Okay. This would have been fellow. Fellow. This would have been address. Yeah. Okay. Address at the bottom there. This would have been marine. This would have been democrat. And this would have been party. Whew. Now, if you'd like to come over here, and I'll show you how the letters have not taken their place <laughs> on the jumble <laughs> cartoon board. But you could still go from the clue. OK? So listen to the clue very carefully. Now, you have ten seconds to confer. After ten seconds, I'm going to need an answer. Yeah. The final jumble clue for £200 is non-smokers go along with a crossword clue following an ill-tempered scene on the bench. Non-smokers go along with a crossword clue following an ill-tempered scene on the bench. You have ten seconds to confer. I need an answer in ten seconds. Start in now. I'm sorry, your time no. is up. The final jumble clue for £200. Non-smokers go along with a crossword clue following an ill-tempered scene on the bench. Any ideas? <laughs> well, no. I don't know. Um... No? no. Mine's gone. Studio man. audience, any ideas? Paddy Astor. Well done, sir. Yes, Paddy oh. Astor. Oh. Come over here. Oh. Listen, I've got to tell you, Mick, yeah. you've been a great sport. Yeah. I'm sorry that you lost. You didn't get any letters. Uh, have you had a good time? Of course. Smashing, thank you. That's great. That's OK. Nice. We'd Thanks like to much. thank your celebrity partner, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Lindy Nassadi. Thank you. We'll see you very soon at Jumble. Same time, same place. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.